Hampshire's Local 25 is very proud to be part of this great organization. With uh, the Teamsters, uh, our goal was to bring them out to the campus. This is something that I look forward to every year. It makes certain that we take care of the people that may not have a voice, not only in the workplace, but more importantly in the, in the community of autism. The approach overall is very different from the majority of programs. One thing I, uh, that stands out the most, I think, physical activity. It's nice to see children outside exercising, uh, prior to their school day. And then obviously it's a great approach because I think it, the exercise will obviously calm the children down and allow them to focus more on their schoolwork. You kind of exhaust yourself at the beginning of the day. Like I have the youngest students and they run a mile every day. I've, I've never seen that approach and I think it's fascinating. You're tired, but then you're focused on your students and you're more focused on their success, so. I've come here before and, and, and run with the students. So I started running and all of a sudden I felt this little hand come next to me and grab my hand and wouldn't let go. Come on, Michaela, we got this, come on. I was like, this is great. I didn't really want it to stop. Come on. To have people come in here in different groups that can give them those experiences is really something that we cherish and I think the kids really enjoy. It just goes to show you what, what commitment that Teams' is Local 25 has to autism in the Higashi School. <laughs> Higashi really gives more opportunities for those personal connections. Uh, there was this young gentleman, Matthew, that he was walking out and I said, hey, Sean. And Matthew was like, you walk with me? Absolutely, Matthew. Show me how this is. Are you putting there, with the truck, for example, it really helps with the sensory awareness for some of the kids. See that truck, see the excitement of students of all ages. It's not zooming around them, so they're more confident and comfortable with that. How do you like that? How does it go all the way My focus was truly on Matthew and making sure Matthew was happy today, and I think Matthew was very happy. <laughs> see you, buddy. Bye. And the kids all love just, you know, again, something that you wouldn't get to do. A truck that came up that you were allowed to climb on, you were allowed to pretend that you're driving it. I know one of our students buckled up and was ready to go. When you come here, you leave here with a, with a, with a purpose. You know, you want to help other people more and more. All the things that they have done and the time that they, they take out to make things happen here, in incredible. Everything that they contribute to us contributes to the happiness of the kids. So. And just to look, these children, look at the staff, the happiness. You can't quantify what that's worth. You feel better after you have visited than before you come in. Today was phenomenal. Today was the best day I've had in a long time.